Oh. 10 degrees. <laughs> it's not warm today on the boat at all. This is like the only warmth. This is what's coming off your computer right now. Mm -hmm. Honey bunnies. This is giving me anxiety. Oh, oh. It's so close, Landon. It's so close. The door is open. <laughs> oh, okay. It's got it's got like a mind of its own today. If you experienced this in a normal house, it would be an earthquake <laughs> and you'd be dying. Uh, but it's just regular life for us. <laughs> Today's quest is really just to stay warm and not have there be any damage to our boat. Luckily for us, we're both sick, it's cold, and it's a storm. The baby's having a nap right now, so I think I'll just do some tidying up. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. Being on the floor when it's like this is not comfortable. hear the wind howling. We're definitely not doing laundry today. I think we'll wait. Yeah, no chance. Oh, it's uh, now nine degrees in, in the bedroom. Alright. Space is all tidied up. In true fashion of being sick and it just being a really crummy, stormy day, we are going to have an old-fashioned college lunch. Of course, I have three different flavors, so we're gonna be exotic and we're gonna combine all the flavors together. Ramen soup to soothe the soul. been trying to take this every hour. <sighs> okay. It's so strong, but I don't want to be sick. Oh. Look who just woke up. Oh, we're getting out the, the big guns. Oh, look at that. Are you gonna have some noodles, baby? Oh, this is so good. Noodles. Noodle. I wanted to get a little bougie with it, not an egg, but uh, we don't have eggs. Yeah, can we, can we maybe keep it on our plate? Thank you. Yeah. Uh, 
What are you doing here? I'm honestly not really feeling too great right now. So I think that I'm going to try to lay down for a little bit and let dad do the dad things. <laughs> red bird, red bird. What do you see? I see a yellow duck. How many layers do we all have on right now? Two. Mm. You know what I want to do? I just want to curl up as a family in our bed and like eat snacks. Oh. I tried to nap, I couldn't nap. Okay. This baby requires <coughs> constant attention. I have a throat. Yes. What are you trying to do? To be productive. And what am I, what am I doing? I'm trying to survive. So the afternoon got away from us a little bit. The baby and I had a little bit of a nap. It's warmed up in here a tad. Earlier this week, I was gifted some spaghetti sauce from my chef friend where I used to work. And so I thought, why not, why not do spaghetti? That's what we're doing. That in. Mm, so there's nothing better than sauce or anything that you don't have to make and you can tell this was made with love. Mm. Oh, hey dude. Hi honeys. Spaghetti! So much noodles today, hey? <laughs> like so many <laughs> noodles for lunch. This is, you can tell this is how we're feeling. Pasta for dinner yesterday. Yeah, we're feeling very bearish. So there's always something that I like mm. to call the great reprieve. Mm. And it's something I completely made up mm. on one of the really rainy days when we used to live in the van. Mm. And it's where I observed mm. that everything around me felt chaotic and wet and cold and kind of miserable. But I noticed that eventually the storm would clear and it would be this beautiful, warm, calm day. And I guess I was just noticing the stark contrast between the chaos to the calmness. And what I came to learn is that a great reprieve always seems to follow these chaotic, cold, stormy, sick events. So I always now, when there is a storm going on, I always look for that because I know that it's coming. And I try to make a point of when it arrives to like really notice it and really take it in. So we will see, we shall see if or what the great reprieve is from this storm today. And hopefully by the end of this video, I'll be able to share with you what it is and what it looks like.